For this project, I'm going to build two nightstands to go with the stackable daybed that I built a few weeks ago. I'm going to build the nightstands entirely out of 2x4s, since that's what I built the daybeds with. And I still have a lot of 2x4s on hand and I really want to use them up. So after drawing the design in SketchUp and then picking the pieces from my wood pile, I started cutting them down to the size I needed. After I finished cutting all the pieces, I drilled all the pocket holes I needed to assemble the nightstands. Then I followed up with some quick light sanding, since most of these pieces were already sanded when they were stained for a previous project. To start the assembly process, I started by assembling all the shelf pieces so that they would be connected to each other. Normally, I like to do my project assembly in the room in which the final product will be at, but in this case, I needed to make sure that shelves were perfectly flat and would be squared up on the edges, so I decided to do it outside on the tables. I considered doing this process for all the 2x4s that will be used as the legs of the nightstands. However, I decided not to because in order to attach the leg pieces in the same manner that I attached the shelf pieces together, the pocket holes would end up being very visible once the entire nightstand was assembled, so ultimately I didn't like how that would end up turning out and so I decide not to go that route. After I assembled the shelves, I brought all the pieces inside to paint them. I decided I would just paint the nightstands the same color as the daybed and this color is called Cowboy Boots and is from Sherwin-Williams. With all of the pieces painted, I was ready to start the full assembly process. To start with, I took the top of a nightstand and laid it on the floor upside down. Next, I started by attaching the leg pieces one by one to their respective 2x4s and making sure that their edges were perfectly lined up so that they wouldn't interfere with the next leg's position. I started by doing all four on one side and then I moved on to do all four legs on the other side. With all eight legs attached, next up was the middle shelf. The middle shelf will only have a three and a half inch gap between it and the top shelf. So I just used a two by four to be able to provide the spacing I needed while I attached the shelf to the legs. Since nothing ever ends up being perfectly flat or square when working with two by fours most of the time, I end up having the legs angled out a little bit once I attached them to the top. This was gonna cause an issue if I attached the middle shelf the way that the legs were currently angled. So to bring them back in, I used one of my large or clamps and squeeze them back together and held them in place like that until I could get the middle shelf attached and have the screws set in the proper position. With the middle shelf now attached, I was ready to attach the final piece, which is the bottom shelf. The distance from the floor to the bottom shelf will be three and a half inches. So again, I used a two by four to be able to provide this spacing. In order to get the bottom shelf in its proper position, I've started by attaching the two by four that would be used as my spacer to the legs using some clamps. And then I clamped the shelf to that two by four using two more large clamps to keep it held in place while I set the screws into the legs. After setting all the screws on one side, I simply repeat the process on the other side. With the first nightstand fully assembled, I simply repeat the entire process again to assemble the second one. Once both nightstands were assembled, I noticed that each of the nightstands had at least one leg on each of their respective sides that was a little bit longer or shorter than the other legs. This didn't cause any stability issues with the nightstands, but I wanted all the legs to be the same length. So I took both nightstands outside and got my circular saw out. I only had to cut about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch off of each of the sides to be able to get all the legs squared up. However, I did scuff the paint in a few places while doing this process, so I brought both nightstands back inside and did a final coat of paint in order to touch up all the areas that I had damaged. Thank you. 